when you look at Edmonton, what stands out? Obviously, they have some top-end players you're familiar with. <laughs> them. You might be on the ice against them. What, what just stands out? Yeah, I, I mean, they've got, uh, you know, an unbelievable power play and, and, and two of the best players in the world. So um, it's, 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 it's going to be a great challenge for us to try and stop them. And, um, you, you, you know, the more we could stop them, the, the, the more effective it's going to be for us. Yeah, obviously it's going to be a challenge. They have some pretty special players over there, and uh, it's definitely going to embrace it. And I think, uh, yeah, anytime you go against some of the best players in the world, it's always fun and challenging. And anytime you get a challenge, it's awesome. So it's going to be a good series, I think. With those guys, especially um, each series has you know specific players that you kind of key in. But um, you know, two of the best players in the world. Um, obviously, they've shown it their whole career and. Those are two players that not necessarily you can you can shut down, but you can limit, um, and you got to make it tough on them. Uh, you know, I think you could see you know every team plays against these guys. They try to find a game plan to you know stop them, and they obviously find their ways. Just how talented they are, but um, you got to make it tough on them. It's a it's going to be a long series, um, you know, seven game series that make it tough on them as much as you can, and um, you know limit their chances, you know, to the best you can. The interesting thing is they're a way better defensive team than like their defensive analytics are almost as good as ours. Uh, we're a way better offensive team than people know as well. So it's both sides of the puck. You you have to defend against the the whole group, active back end, clearly superstars up front, and then we got some really good players too. So it's both sides of the puck equally weighted. We we play an aggressive defensive game when we don't have the puck, and I think we attack pretty smartly when we do. I feel the same way about their game. Their defensive game um, is far stronger, far more structured um, than I think I hear on when I'm watching the games or I read about. Yeah, I think every round, you, you know, it's 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 you know possesses its own unique challenge, and um, you, you know these these top players on this team is 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 matched by nobody. So um, you know, I think we're we're, we're a confident group. Um, you know, I, I, I think you play them a little bit more passive. Um, that's when they're going to get you. So, um, you got to try and take away their time and space. They're going to make plays They're Like, like, like I said, they got some of the best players in the world. So, um, we're excited for the, the opportunity. When you see McDavid out there, what is, if you're on the ice against him, what is the, I guess the danger or what do you have to be careful about with him? Cause he's obviously so fast and does so many things. Yeah. Yeah. I think anytime he's on the ice, you have to be aware and. I think uh, I think it's just kind of getting in his way a little bit and uh, making him skate through you a little bit. And I think, uh, yeah, but he's obviously a special player. And every time he touches the puck, uh, it seems like something happens. And I think it's just for us uh, being stable and playing our structure and being good defensively and extra aware when he's on the ice. McDavid has the puck. He's winding up with speed or defense. What is going through your mind as he's coming up ice? Yeah, try to ma- match that speed. Um, again, try to get as close as you can possible um again he's gonna come up with you know more speed than most in this league it's you know tough to contain but um try to keep his you know the best gap you can as possible and um again play as you know hard hard on him well we spent some time up there in winnipeg and we saw a bunch of different rotations whether the leon dry saddle plays with uh connor mcdavid or not and that, that changes some of the dynamics of what you got to prepare for but these two men and um, it's just a, it's a you can't play a one-on-one game with them. They're just too fast, too strong, too skilled. So it's a, a five-man defensive game, and and everything else that's kind of come out of my mouth would be a cliche. But sometimes there's a reason for it, right? They, they, those cliches stick around because they're true. We can't do anything to generate offense for Edmonton. They're going to generate their own, and we have to be mindful of the position that we are in on change of possessions. But we can't be in a passive position worrying about that all night.